Welcome to the Super Facts Show on the Super Facts Network. Featuring St. Laz, who also hosts the popular web series Gem Pop and music journalist Mark Walter Ward. They have discussions about hip hop, culture, society, philosophy, and everything else. Now available on YouTube and wherever else you get your podcasts. What up, gang? This is your boy, Mark Walter War, Super Facts Show, Super Facts Network. Today we got with us one of the most respected men in Chicago, one of the most underrated artists, uh, one of the most prolific ghost writers who you'll never know, the Hook King himself. But uh, my man got some tremendous ass verses. Uh, what's up, Jig Dollar? What's the deal, brody? How you feeling? Appreciate you having me. No doubt, no doubt. Shit, bro. I mean, shit, we, we, we've been friends for like a decade. And I ain't talked to you for a minute. So why not get some content out of it, right? Big facts. Big facts. So I see you just put out uh, five grams. You know, y'all can go check that out on, on <laughs> Dirty Glove Bastard and any uh, digital streaming platform. Are, are you getting back into yes, music sir. mode again? Man, I'm most definitely back in music mode. Most definitely back in music mode. Uh, like I'm at a point right now. Every day I'm trying to do something pertaining to advancing my music career and the art form of film. Word. But I mean, for a minute you was uh getting into the executive side. Uh, are, are you still making moves there? The, the most the definitely, guy. most definitely, most definitely. I'm still like you know. I mostly got into the executive side of things, trying to help, like you know, fellow fellow artists because when I was coming up, like. I ain't really had nobody like showing me the way. Like, and you know, like I had to do things. So a lot of stuff I had to do it on my own, learn on my own. So that's what helped me get into the executive side of uh, basically just trying to help other artists. So you <clears throat> advance that career. I, I don't know if it still exists, Wild Bunch Money Gang. I mean, I know it exists as a uh as a group of friends, but um, hey, that's for life, bro. <laughs> But but as as a musical entity, you know, without talking bad about anybody, are, are you disappointed in how that turned out? Because I remember what what what, what was the jump called? The Black Beatles. Yeah, Black Beatles. Twenty eleven Beatles. Man, I, I remember. Yeah. Man, the songs on that were so strong. Yeah, most definitely. I just listened to that like what like two three weeks ago. I just pulled it up and listened to it. But um, as far as disappointment, like the, you know, probably like the, the immature me, like probably yeah, I was a little disappointed. But like the mature me and like seeing what everything that led to right now, I, like I'm not like because, you know, like we left our mark, bro. Then it's like it's it's still going like. It, it never stopped because, like, Wild Bunch Money Game was never really a group. We was right. a collector. You feel me? So, like, we, we we always had plans. We always had plans on, like, branching outside of that and doing our own thing. Feel me? Like, and then, you know, we got, you know, stuff that even came after that. Like, Mac 11, he going real strong right, right. now. You still got Avenue L's going real strong. You got the, you got, you know, like with the artists I was just working with, they got their, their own <laughs> movie, but, you know, they, they are part of WBMG too, which, um, you know, B BTBG. You know, Lil Marcus and Bill and them, like, you know, they, they got the torch now, like, you know, like, I'm just, I'm really falling into the role of supporting cast right now. You feel I mean, you but say you that, bro, but I, I know, I know you be writing <laughs> some of them hooks. I mean, bro, like, like, bro, some real talk, bro, like, bro, they, they talented, bro, like, you know, like, you know, I give an idea whenever I can, but you know, like, for the most part, bro, like, you know, like, man, Joe, like, you know, they hold their own, and then I don't want to put like, like, you know, you know, like when I work with an artist, I really want them to. To be themselves, like, because for one, if I gotta write your songs, I ain't really trying to work with you. Like, I ain't really trying to work with you. Like, it's you know, it's business at that point. I can write something for you. You feel me, Joe? But like, you know, like for me to like step and get behind you, like you gotta really like 
got to be one of them. Oh, so you only, do, you only do that for people that's outside the camp. Exactly. Got you. Exactly. Hey, did you like, say little Marcus? Um, um, what, what what happened to a little homeboy that was dancing like a motherfucker that went viral? He was on like Ellen or some shit. Oh, Lil Chemo? Lil Chemo, yeah. 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 Man, Lil Chemo still going strong. He's still doing his thing. He um he trying to transition to pop star. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So you know, some people would say he's trying to transition now, to, to sell out. Lil Chemo, man, Lil Chemo. Yeah, he hard, bro. I, I I hear he's trying to transition to generational wealth, and I respect shit like that. Nah, big facts, bro. Big facts, man. Like. Like, man, you know, like, shorty all about his family, man, and I respect that about him, you know, regardless of anything else, bro. Like, you know, you got somebody out here and you see whatever they doing, they doing it for they, 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 they family and they seeds. Like, man, you got to respect and support it. Nah, de definitely, definitely. I mean, shit, it, it, if, ain't not, if, if ain't nothing else, bro, like, I don't want to offend you or anything, but I, I feel like sometimes you've been too supportive of others at your own detriment. Man, though, I hear that so much. <laughs> man, I hear that so much, man. And, and and to a certain extent, you know, that 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 might be true. You feel me, Joe? But you know, like man, Joe, like that's why that's why you got five grams, Joe. That's how five grams come out and all this other heat about to come. Word. I mean, yeah, whatever whatever it takes to get you there, then then shit. That, that that's that that's all that really matter. So um you know, when, when I mean, you already know I don't be on no hot shit, but you know, I, I tell everybody this ain't Vlad, this ain't academics. But uh, you, you have a pretty uh, noteworthy father. What, what, what could you tell us about your father? You say, say that again. I'm sorry. I'm saying you have a pretty noteworthy father without getting too specific. What could you tell us about your father? Oh man, right. Like, I mean, like, let, I mean, know? let's put it like this he's definitely a civic, a civic rights legend. Nah, yeah, big facts. Nah, big facts, man. Like, man, you know, everybody know, man. You know, my old man was one of the founders of one of the oldest organizations. You know, like, uh, like you said, man, they, you know, had a lot to do with security during the civil rights movement. You know, black-owned businesses in, in Chicago. You know, all that type of stuff. And a whole bunch of other stuff too, man, that we can't talk about. You know, some people you, to to change the subject. You know, I know it's a lot of people like Larry Hoover, or, or just it seems like it's a Chicago thing. Even back to the mafia people, people that get labeled as gang leaders were the ones who were, you know, actually trying to make changes in the community. And once they start getting on some economic empowerment, now all of a sudden they gang leaders. I mean, it's part of the setup, bro. Word. It's part of the setup, you know, like. I mean, it's been going on since before they was even calling them gangs. You feel me? Like, and, and like, you know, like. Mobs when, when of angry blacks. Them, like, like that's what, that's how they exactly. call that shit. Like the it's 20s and 30s. Yeah, exactly. Because you talk to any, like, like real person, bro. Like they wouldn't even refer to any of their groups as gangs, their organizations. Government named them gangs and made them gangs. You feel me? Like, but you know, Word. hey, hey, look, I, I know, I know, I know Kanye got all that Trump shit, right? But like, you know, like all that hate for that Trump shit. But I love him forever. Yeah. That motherfucker went up in the White House over office and asked, asked the president to free Larry Hoover. He always gonna be good in my book hey, for that. I, I don't even think people hey, caught that that ain't in the know. Hey, Kanye a genius, bro. Like, Kanye a genius, bro. Like, you know, like, I mean, regardless, that man said yeah, George Bush yeah, don't care you know, about white you know, people and free Larry Hoover. You know, and, hey, bro, and then you know, like, and then you know, like, um, like, man, you know, when you when you doing stuff that other people can't, like, you know, like other people can't comprehend or understand or even see your vision, you a weirdo or you crazy. Like, that's the way society set up now. So like, you know, a lot of the times, and then like, you know, Kanye, you know, he's such a genius, bro. Like, he used all that. Like, right. he used that. You feel me? Like, and man, that's what people gotta learn how to do, bro. Use all that. 
Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. So, you know, I, I ain't really talked to you that much since, since COVID. I mean, a couple of times, but but not like not not about like like how's that shit changed Chicago? Like like for one thing, I imagine I imagine uh that sh- it must be must it must be ah must be much more dangerous if motherfuckers allowed to wear masks. Hell no, nah, it's much more dangerous because all this free money was going around. Everybody <laughs> got these good ass guns and shit. <laughs> Hey, wait, hey, hold on. Let, let, let me interrupt you. Let me ask you this. I listen to this conspiracy theory show, and this is some conspiracy theory show shit. Like, like they be on lizard people and all that shit. But they had this cat on there that was from Chicago. Actually, they had a few, and they said that. Uh, and they they could be totally lying. I just want to know your opinion on this because because I I know you've met gang members before. They said that they was gang members, and uh, they found trucks. You know, like 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 tractor trailers, like without the truck, just the back, whatever you call it. I guess the trailer. They had like mad mm-hmm. guns in it, and, and them shits would just be dropped off in the neighborhood in Chicago. Oh man! And have, you, have, you, have you ever heard knowledge. of such a thing? I, I seen that. I seen that, but like, I mean, you know, it's beyond my knowledge, but it's it's not like unbelievable. Like it's not unbelievable. Like, not at all. Like it's most definitely not un- unbelievable, bro. This this shit is a setup, bro. Like it's a setup. Like because I, I mean, how, how homeboy? I, well, I forgot not, Rondo number nine, and like don't answer the question specifically, but theoret, but you know, figure it rhetorically. How the fuck did homeboy get a rocket launcher? You you know what I'm saying? I done been around kingpins and all kinds of motherfuckers. I ain't never seen nobody with a rocket launcher for sale. Man, bro. I mean, like I said, that's just a, that's just a rhetorical States. question, you know what I'm saying? But like, that, that that shit ain't come from from the block, you know what I mean? I done been in every Man, motherfucking Jordan. hood in the on the East Coast, and I ain't never seen a motherfucking rocket launcher. I seen motherfuckers add grenades a couple times, you right, know, bulletproof yeah. vests and shit. But I ain't never seen no fucking rocket launcher. What you even gonna do with that shit? Like, you got you got beef with somebody on a plane, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, I don't think I've seen the rocket launch either on the streets, bro. Like, bro, a lot of that shit be fabricated, bro. Like, you feel me, bro? It's like, no bullshit. And, and, and it, like, you know, like, each his own, you know, like, man, bro, you know, you got to do what you got to do, man. But, you know, like, you know, like, you know, a lot of stuff, bro, like, because, you know, it's like, you know, niggas like academics and shit, bro. Like, you know, they paint these, these pictures, bro, like, that you gotta be this or you gotta be that, bro. Like, and you know, like these shorties, bro, they just run with that shit, bro. Like, you know, they feel like they gotta be the most gangsters nigga out here, sell the most drugs, bro. Like, all that shit, bro. And then they get on the, then they get on YouTube and social media and, you know, like the internet and rap about that shit, bro. Like, like, at the same time, why they doing this shit? <laughs> you feel me, bro? Like, so. Like, bro, it's it, it, it's a trap, bro. You feel yeah, me, man. Joe? Like, you, you, being you like, be a rapper and being like the, the hip hop police, like the hip hop police, like they real life, like working in the hip hop police is the feds, bro. Yeah. Like, you feel me, bro? Like, so, like, you know, like, ones just got to pay attention to, like, what's going on, bro. You see, they just locked all Ace Young and all them up down there in Florida, yep. like on the conspiracy yep. and all this shit was built off their songs, bro. Yeah, you feel me? Like, you know, like they trying to do it with my neighborhood right now, bro. Cause like, bro, like off my block alone, bro, it's probably about ten own rappers in the city, bro. Like that's 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 busting, bro. Like you feel me, Joe? Like we, you know, we got Els, Mac Eleven, Kill Bill, Lamarcus, Cap. Like you know, all them. Bro, like shit, myself, like you feel me, like then you know, like we got in the hood, like we got Willie Neal, like shit, you know, it's a lot of people, bro. Ain't that cat a, 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 a day from around around where you at? Who that? A day, E D A I. I might be saying his name wrong. Oh, E Day. Yeah, E Day. No nah, man, um, E Day, E Day from the south side, but. He they related to one of my close friends. You feel me? Like 
this his cousin. So like he they most definitely used to be around in my neighborhood too. And just for us all know, you in you in Inglewood, right? Nah, 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 hell nah. I'm on the avenue. Okay. I'm on Chicago Avenue. I'm on the avenue out west. Gotcha. Yeah. No see, disrespect. I, see, see, I, 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 still, I still ain't never no been to Chicago. Or nothing, you know? But <clears throat> nah, I'm from a different side. Like um my neighborhood, my neighborhood would probably be the equivalent like to Inglewood on, on the west side. Gotcha. You feel me? Like it it they it, it, it ain't too different like the neighborhoods, but you know, it's different. You know, yeah, the south side yeah, and the west side, like, you know, the whole movement is, is completely different. You feel me? It's like two different cities. Word. So back back to that COVID shit, how'd that affect? you as a father like because like like that shit was killing me i don't know how it was for y'all but uh my my kids did did e-learning and like i i i saw that shit have an effect on them man they owe us a paycheck bro yes <laughs> word nah, nah for real though bro like you know covid man you know like it changed everybody life bro you know like man you know lost a few people you know like yeah. um you know a lot of fucking i Isolation in the house with the family, like you know, a lot of bonding time with the with the youngest bro, like you know, with the family. Y'all did some binge watching. We did a lot of binge watching. Oh yeah, what what, what y'all was watching? A lot of binge watching. Yeah. Man, we be watching a lot of shit, man. We've been watching um what El Chapo, fucking Ozark. Um, you don't fuck with superhero okay. shit. Power. You said. Hey, who? Superhero shit. I most definitely fuck with all that superhero shit. I was man, watching. Bro, bro you, you gotta watch. You gotta watch the Watchmen on HBO. Take my word for it. It's on HBO Max. I watched it. Oh, okay. I watched that that shit. That shit was fire, <laughs> right? Me and my girl, man, we watched that. We watched the Watchmen. We watched um, Cloak and Dagger. Yeah, I was we mad that shit got Nicholas. canceled. We watched that the, shit was um, garbage. What's Oh, the oh, you talking? You no, know, you talking about Invincible, the cartoon? Yeah, Invincible. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was the shit. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. that was the shit. Yeah, right. And I was watching that. Um, uh, the what? What's that? The Good Boys on Amazon. The Boys, yeah, that's my shit too. The Boys, the Boys, yeah, on Amazon. The female that I don't know if you know. Yeah. I, I I I love like badass chicks to be killing a bunch of motherfuckers. So the female was right on my alley. <laughs> Yeah, most those, those be like my favorite movies, bro. I, I was a uh, man. It's this movie called The Hunt. I don't know if it's supposed to be like anti-conservative or anti-liberal, but it's like some rich motherfuckers. Why well, ain't gonna explain the whole story? Be hunting down some poor, mo like redneck motherfuckers on like some big ass manor in another country, like like like, like with guns and shit. But one, but they got the wrong one, and one of the chicks have been in like Afghanistan, and and she got back at him. And and and, and shit's just vicious, like like. Man, what you say the name of this was? It's called The Hunt. It's on HBO Max right now. It it, it would have came out during COVID. It's one of the ones that came out, you know, like on uh, HBO Max instead of the movie theater. Man, what you thought about that um that verse with Locks and Dipset? I mean, the Locks definitely won. <laughs> you know, as much as a Dipset fan as I am, but I mean, Cameron won because you can tell he was the one running I mean, it. I know he's the one that's gonna bank out the most on that tour. Nah, yeah, big facts, man. <laughs> man I big feel man. like I feel like man, Dip said they come prepared, man. Yeah, they should have used different songs. They, but, like, but, but, where, no, where was Mister like, Postman? I knew or, they were gonna lose, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Like, I knew they was gonna lose, even though I'm a part <laughs> of that era. Feel me, but like, you know, like, man, bro, like. Man, bro, I knew they wasn't gonna come prepare. Had a lot of folks on. Man, they should have more Cameron songs. And, and this was like Jada Kiss second verses. Right. He did one with Fabulous, so he experienced, bro. Like he he knew, like I knew they was gonna come and set the tone and make it like about rap. Right. You feel me? Like and like I mean, the know, song choices yeah. was fucked up though. Like like he played the Shice Bubs, Purple City, Bird Gang, and and, and remember Sheik was like. What is that? Hey, Jim Jones. Hey, Jim Jones was just trying to get some airtime, bro. <laughs> like, man, he should have been so playing some of the, the the newer Jones though, because I don't know if you listen lately. Jones Jones might be bro, like the best rapper in Dipset now. 
bro, he ain't played none of his new shit. His new shit fire. Yeah. All that old shit, though, like Jada Kiss said, man, this one, this nigga can rap. Can rap, yeah. You hear me, bro? Like, bro, they should have did I'm ready. Bro, like, you feel me? Like, that's like one of the they, biggest they Down and out with Kanye. They did that. He did that. Kim did, did that. that. Yeah, okay. that was one of his um that was one of his last songs he did. I see. Man, I, 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 I ain't I'm old. I got tired. <laughs> Man, they posted, bro, J.R. right up there. You feel me, bro? Like, they ain't want to share that bag, bro. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. <laughs> they ain't want to on the reunion and none of that. I mean, it is what it is. Like, Dipset. Dipset a collective, bro. You feel me? Like, y'all really a collective, bro. You know, that man 40 Cal said Oh, my bad, good. It's more than just Jim Jones, Joels, and Cam. Feel me? Oh, I agree. But like, like 40 <laughs> Cal said, uh, when he was putting the Koch albums out, he had to pay forty to 70000 to put the Dipset logo on them to Cameron. And then, you know, when uh, Jim Jones started Bird Gang, this man a camera on when trademark the name for that shit. Man, listen, bro. If I was fucking 40 Cal, I would have been the start of my own fucking label by then. Yeah. He tried. Man, that shit don't cost a lot. <laughs> yeah. It don't cost a lot at all, bro. Plus, I mean, he was making music yeah. with Nicki Minaj before she had uh, any plastic surgery. So he could have signed Nicki Minaj. Uh, yeah, big fact. I'm, I'm pretty sure 40 Cal got his pen working somewhere. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you know that shit happened. His uh, oldest daughter died. He's been kind of fucked up. R.I.P. Well, nah, nah. Yeah, man, yeah in a car that. accident. I, I forgot. I, it's, it's, man, my bad. I, my bad. But uh, that happened to someone else in Dipset, too, like like the week before. Like, both of them lost their kids shit. in a car accident. Damn, my bad. Damn. Yeah, it's Mark just rough. Yeah, yeah, your setup I mean, over as hell, bro. Yeah. I see you. I see you over there, man. Oh yeah, I mean, I got the record racks during COVID, and I put the pictures up, and I was like, "Fuck it, this shit look like it could be a podcast." And I found out how easy that shit was to do <laughs> for real, for real. Man, I see you with your NWA, uh, uh, Easy East, standing next to you, man. To you, to your left. Oh yeah, yeah, Killmonger, <laughs> all these Killmongers and shit. Man, I, man, I don't got play yet, but uh, or they go kid the two hype house party jump. You get you get them. They be doing the dance and shit. Oh, you snapping? Yeah, I mean, bro, be real with you. When cats be offering to pay to come on this jump, you know, I ain't never charge people for shit. I tell them, cop me a Funko, and then they be part of my show forever. Man, that's what's up, bro. Man, you always been a real one, though, Mark. You too, real, man. But I appreciate that. Hey, hey, man, check it out. Man, I'm for real, for real rapping, rapping now, bro. Good. Yeah, bro. Like, I ain't like, never bro, mad like, at that. Like, 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 man, like you said, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, I, you, you know, I do a lot of like trying to help everybody else, bro. Like, man, bro, I said I'm gonna lock in and like focus on myself for a while, bro, and, and like see what it, see where it takes me. You feel me? I mean, as you should, bro. Like. Man, I, there ain't been no whack jig dollar jump uh, other than the fact that like like you got better every year. Man, I appreciate that, man. That's because because I, I know as better. nice as you are now, when you be listening to some of your old shit, you be like, ah, oh. ah, yeah. Hey, look, man, bro, it's what's crazy, bro. Bad Grimm's like a year old, bro. Yeah, that's like a year old, bro. So you got newer yeah, jumps? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Hopefully that's like longer than a minute and 43 seconds. See, like, that's kind of like my that's kind of like my thing right now, bro. Like, I mean, that's what know, the like, that's what the baby do. That's how you get more plays. That's that's it, it ain't really about like I, I really wasn't thinking about plays, bro. Like, you know, this time around, bro, like I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like. like out the whole art of everything going. You feel me, bro? Like, I'm trying to, like, I want everything in conjunction. Like, you feel me? Like, the, the music, the visuals, the art. Like, you know, like, it's just, you know, it's 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 a form of art, bro. Like, you know, I'm just putting my stamp on that shit. 
I, I can dig it. I mean, I, I definitely look forward to seeing what else you got coming. If obviously anything you re- – matter of fact, when is going to be the next release? Man, soon, bro. Soon, bro. Like, but now I'm just going to drop, like, audio and singles. And, and you, you know, like, I'm shooting videos, you know. You know, like, I'm working every day, bro. Like, man, one day everybody going to wake up and it might just be shit. Six jig dollar videos available. <laughs> you feel me? like that's what's like, up, man, man. bro. Like I'm trying to do every. I ain't trying to do nothing by by like no time clock or no book or nothing. Like I'm moving all off time. You feel? Me? Got you, got you. Well, shit. Before before we finish up, uh, anything you want to say? And make sure you stay on after I stop recording. But uh, make sure you shout you shout out your socials and all that good stuff too. Yeah. Man, I mean, I ain't really got shit to say, man. Don't just expect that fire, man. Got gotcha. that shit is coming. Respect, just expect it, Joe. It's coming. Jig Dollar man, and all shit. DSPs. You know, y- y'all can read how his name spelled. Spotify, Apple Music, all that good stuff. Everywhere. And, and your so social, your socials, Instagram, is- everything. Jig Dollar, J I G D O L L A. Feel me like, man, support the movement. No doubt. Well, shit, bro. Thank you for your time. It's always a pleasure. Rest in peace, Dutch Schultz. Yeah, RIP Dutch. That was a a real one.